Every year, nearly 15,000 people attempt to reach the summit of Mount St. Helens. And the key, finding that perfect day to climb the 8,300 feet to the top. We started out at Climber's Bivouac Trailhead, which is at 3,700 feet. And I hope we're treated to some spectacular views. It's a little cloudy this morning, but it's a pretty nice day so far. My photographer, John Goodwin, was with me. We quickly realized conditions change pretty fast. Clouds really started to increase just about 45 minutes to about an hour ago, right around that 6,000 foot level. We kept on trying to go through and push through. And as the clouds became thicker and the rain came down heavier, it also meant our climb was gonna stop along the Monitor Ridge Trail. What's your dog's name? Penny. Penny? Laura Alm has tried reaching the summit twice, and each time she's been forced to turn around. It's not that long of a hike. Um, you know, it's you know not that hard of a hike, but um, the conditions can be a little extreme. The talus flow is a little harder than you might think. <laughs> the most popular time to climb is during the late spring and summer, but passes go really fast. Our buddy got a pass um, at like, apparently the first day they opened up and all the days in summer were already filled. So these guys got stuck for a climb in early fall. It was rough up there. Despite the sunshine they saw as they started, they walked through the boulder field and eventually found themselves walking through stone. You could take a full like shin full of snow, your foot would sink in that far. We didn't even make it that far. So as we look at this map, this is where we started our climb at Climber's Bivouac right around 3,700 feet. We think we climbed at least right around 6,000 feet, if not more, but because of all the clouds that rolled through, we couldn't go any higher. Ideally, our ultimate goal was to get to the summit, which is at over 8,300 feet. Take a look at this Google map image. It shows where we had to stop because of the incoming weather. We didn't do too bad though. We actually made it to about 5,300 feet, but the excitement we had when we first started out quickly turned to defeat and disappointment when we realized it wasn't gonna be safe enough to continue. On this day, we weren't alone with that feeling. I've been up mountains, um, and to me, it's only worth it if you can get to the rim and see inside the crater and, and have a view. But all climbers like Laura and myself can at least say we tried to make it. It was worth the price of admission this morning because we had a spectacular sunrise view of, of Mount Hood and Mount Jefferson and I think Broken Top behind and know we will be back some other day. It's, it's still a good day. It's still a good day. <laughs> Hopefully making it to the top.